you have to link this with the data and retrieve it from the form we submitted from the previous page. And how we do that is by using the post method and the label for the input uh, input name. So if you remember correctly, the na input name for the the username uh, part of the form was user username. If we go back to the register.php page next to uh, desired username, input type and name right here is user username. So that's what we're after. <coughs> so we go back to user uh, username here and we say post here because that's the method that the form was submitted in and this is basically saying whatever was typed into the HTML form uh, input tag gets the variable gets associated with the variable user username and we do the same thing for user password user password confirm age and country and now what's uh, what's complicated about PHP is that in in this state if we don't do anything further people can type in P type PHP codes inside your form and corrupt your database and hack into your website because if they use uh, a po qu quotes double quotes and insert P PHP uh, commands your browser will not be able to tell between the difference between PHP that was inserted into forms and PHP that you wrote previously and uploaded to your server in the actual file. So what we have to do is disable the ability to write PHP code inside the HTML forms. And in order to do that, we have to do two things. We have to disable the use of uh, slashes, backslashes, and we have to disable the use of quotes. And in order to do those two things separately, we are going to use two different or distinct PHP functions, the strip slashes function and the MySQL real escape string function listed right here. So all we have to do is run the variable through both those functions, which I've done in a single line here. Uh, you can do them in two separate lines if you want, but I like to keep things simple and organized. It's easier to read later on, so I just wrote it and uh, jammed it in one line. So basically I put the user variable inside the function strip slashes inside the function that's MySQL real escape string. And now the user, user username variable is clean. And I do the same thing for the rest of the variables that I'm going to be using. Simple as that. Next we have to, let's see what I did. Now this is why you have to create comments because you forget what you specifically wrote in your uh, code and uh, for other people to understand what you did. So I'll make sure I'll do that better in the future. Uh, just bear with me this uh, this time. This is my first tutorial. <laughs> Nobody's perfect, especially not me. And so if you go back here, I think what I did was cr I had to uh, select. I had to I had to check if there was any pre-existing user in the database that had the same username already entered. So comment in PHP is double black double backslashes and I'm going to say check if uh, entered username already exists in database. There you go. That's what we're doing right here with this part. So we create the SQL command, select everything upon the star sign is everything from the table user. You don't have to uh, make these capitalized but I personally do because it's very easy to read when you know which part of the, the SQL query is MySQL commands versus which ones are say table names and column names so I think it's a really good habit to do it that way and we have to once again run the instructions so MySQL query uh, SQL name and you can define this as whatever you want I just put it as result count and now that we have ran that through we have to check if uh, we have to check how many um, how many numbers of users were returned which we hopefully want to be zero so we can actually use that username 
So the this line right here, what it's doing is check how many results were returned in previous uh, SQL query. So MySQL num rows basically this function counts how many uh, rows of data has been found in whatever array that's entered into its parentheses. So we type in result count here, which is up here. And then we create, and then this, and then basically we define it as num underscore users, which is my personal choice of a random variable. And this variable is going to hold uh, the number of rows that was found. And next what we have to do is we have to check um, we have to check this for each individual line. So let's see row counts, number of users. Oh wait wait never mind never mind. Uh, yes this does this does check how many results were returned in the previous SQL query but it's not checking for the user name specifically it's is returning all the data so sorry my bad I'm I got a little confused this is why comments are so important you have to comment comment comments now if I'm using this for myself I probably understand what's going on but I'm trying to explain in a little bit more detail what I personally do and uh, so this is this first part is not check if entered username is already exist in database what this is doing is um, this is basically saying retrieve every single user that currently exists in the database in the database user more specifically and then the next uh, PHP command is checking how many results were returned in the previous SQL query so basically the number of users is counting how many number of existing users there are right now in the database and then now what we want to do is check individually each in each row if the selected username is already in use. So we want to say row count is negative one so that we start from zero and start from line line number one and we're going to create a while statement. So while Row count, this variable we just created, is less than number of users currently in the database. We want to run the following command once every single time for every single line. So what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, an array for each line. So this line right here, data is equal to MySQL fetch object, and then result count is the 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 query that we just ran. This is basically going to create an array for each line or each row that's in each that's in the array result count. So just bear with me once you once you've seen this in action or you once I've explained the whole code you'll understand what I'm doing here a little bit more. So basically what we're doing so to follow up from what from the while command up here it says row count is less than number of users. Now if we don't add anything else, this is going to